Good morning. Morning. The sun is shining this morning. No sign of rain. Can we agree on that this morning? <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky. Not a, I don't know. I haven't looked at the sky. All I can see is the, the sun on the, on the leaves, on the trees. I'm on top of the world looking it's down. On creation. <laughs> you can have that song in your head all morning now. Okay. So, as we celebrate creation, let's come before the Creator. Yes. Like what I did there. I think. O oh Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouth shall, shall proclaim, proclaim your, your praise. praise. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let, let heaven, heaven and, and earth rejoice. Alleluia. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 19 The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech, they use no words, no sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out in all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring for ever. The decrees of the Lord are firm. All of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, much more than pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart 
be pleasing in your sight, my Lord, my Rock and my Redeemer. Psalm 147 verses 1 to 12 Praise the Lord! How good it is to sing praises to our God! How pleasant and fitting to praise Him! The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the broken-hearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extol the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Numbers 11, 1-33 Now the people complained about their hardships in the hearing of the Lord. And when he heard them, his anger was aroused. Then fire from the Lord burned among them and consumed some of the outskirts of the camp. And the people cried out to Moses, he prayed to the Lord and the fire died down. So that place was called Tabera, because fire from the Lord had burned among them. The rabble with them began to crave other food. And again, the Israelites started wailing and said, if only we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt at no cost. Also the cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions and garlic. But now we have lost our appetite. We never see anything but this manna. The manna was like coriander seed and looked like resin. The people went around gathering it, and then ground it in a hand mill, or crushed it in a mortar. They cooked it in a pot, or made it into loaves, and it tasted like something made with olive oil. When the Jews settled on the camp at night, the manna also came down. Moses heard the people of every family wailing at the entrance to their tents. The Lord became exceedingly angry, and Moses was troubled. He asked the Lord, Why have you brought this trouble on your servant? What have I done to this please you that you put the burden of all these people on me? Did I conceive all these people? Did I give them birth? Why do you tell me to carry them in my arms as a nurse carries an infant to the land you promised on oath to their ancestors? Where can I get meat for all these people? They keep wailing to me, Give us meat to eat. I can't carry all these people by myself. The burden is too heavy for me. If this is how you're going to treat me, please go ahead and kill me right now. If I found favour in your eyes, and, and do not let me face my own ruin. The Lord said to Moses, Bring me seventy of Israel's elders who are known to you as leaders and officials among the people. Make them come to the tent of meeting, that they may stand there with you. Because you have rejected the Lord who is among you, and have well before him, saying, Why did we ever leave Egypt? But Moses said, Here I am among six hundred thousand. That's not right at all, is it? What's think, the next page? I think I've missed it. I lost a page. I think you've ah, missed the page. There you go. So Moses went out. <laughs> and told the people what the Lord had said. He brought them, he brought together seventy of their elders and made them stand round the tent. 
Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke with him. And he took some of the power of the Spirit that was on him and put it on the seventy elders. When the Spirit rested on them, they prophesied, but did not do so again. However, two men, whose names were Eldad and Midad, had remained in the camp. They were listed among the elders, but did not go out of the tent. Yet the Spirit also rested on them, and they prophesied in the camp. A young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Joshua, son of Nun, who had been Moses' assistant since you, spoke up and said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses replied, Are you jealous for my sake? I wish that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit on them. Then Moses and the elders of Israel returned to the camp. Now a wind went out from the Lord and drove Qualium from the sea. It scattered them up to two cubits deep all around the camp, as far as a day's walk in any direction. All that day and night and all the next day the people went out and gathered quail. No one gathered less than ten homers. Then they spread them out all around the camp, but while the meat was still between their teeth, and before it could be consumed, the anger of the Lord burned against the people and struck them with a severe plague. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord, who has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. This is my God, whom I will praise, the God of my forebears, whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. Luke chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gethsemane, Gennesaret, the people were crowding round him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. So he got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and he asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he'd finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night, and we haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they'd done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signalled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them, and they came and filled both boats, so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, I'm a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken, and so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats upon shore, left everything, and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death, death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? 
We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death, death is swallowed, swallowed up, up in victory. victory. Where, O oh, death, death, is your sting. The, the Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung, hung upon the tree. tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who's come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, Charles, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. <clears throat> Father, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for all it will contain for the expected and the unexpected, the blessings and the challenges. Father, as we come before you now, bringing all that will be, all that is, as we bring to you the problems of the day and the challenges of the world and its needs, the church, and all that it is. Father, may we be a people this day who revel in your love and demonstrate all that you are in all that we are, all that we do, and all that we say. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, um, our prayer. Lord, we pray for our world. We pray for the nation of Ukraine. And for the city of Mariupol. Lord, we pray for those who are still caught in that city, unable to leave. Lord, we pray that rescue would come to them soon. In the meantime, Father, we ask for your protection, for your provision. Lord, in, our, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the places of the world this day that are struggling. Mm. For the conflicts of this world. For the governments that oppress their people. For those who live, especially in India at the moment, where they're seeing temperatures of 49, 50 degrees and are struggling in the heat waves. For the people in Australia again where floods are seen, for America where again lives are taken wantonly on the grounds of colour or race. Father God, would we look 
but all that the world is doing, all the world is, and all that the earth is responding to. We see the natural disasters, the man-made tragedies, and the wickedness of man's heart made manifest among the nations of the world. We pray for your hands to be upon the people of this earth, that they may turn from their sins, that the governments may act rightly for their people, and that, Lord, the people of faith would stand up. Yes, and, Lord, the church especially would be heard, would be seen to peaceably, gently, and yet steadfastly oppose all that is wrong. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray about the rhetoric that often exists in our news. As many countries and governments and political parties use the media to inflame division, to increase dissatisfaction against their those who don't support them against their opposition father we pray for mali where reports have been made of a western-led coup that was foiled We pray for the situation in the UN and NATO, for the apparent blockage of the addition of Finland and Sweden by Turkey. Lord, we know that politics is not a fair game, it's not transparent, and it is often used to cover up injustice or to promote one side against another. Lord, we just pray that the truth would be revealed, that people would see the truth and know what it is, would not be fooled by the political manoeuvrings Lord, we pray for truth and transparency and justice and righteousness in the political world. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father God, as we pray for the church and its needs, Father, I thank you for the church starting to get its act together a bit as the Diocese of Southwark is working to promote mental health and well-being within that area for its clergy. and. Lord, I thank you for the Dean of Clergy Wellbeing. I'm not quite sure I really know what that's going to mean. And uh, Father, I hope it means something serious, knowing how many of my clergy colleagues are feeling stressed, are broken at the moment, are having sleep problems and feeling that there's much, much more work than there are hours. Father God, we pray that the church 
in this move is beginning to take clergy well-being more seriously but lord the problem is that no matter how much the church may say it cares the work is still there and the numbers are few so we pray that vocations that true vocation to the ministry to priesthood to shepherd the flock to tend the sheep to feed the lambs may come out and that we may bring forward men and women of love most of all the image of jesus yes. lord in your mercy yeah. hear our, our prayer, prayer. Father, we pray for our brothers and sisters across the world, especially today in Nigeria, after the killing of a young student over alleged blasphemy. Several priests have been abducted and one confirmed dead. As persecution against Christians in that country is on the increase. Lord, we pray for peace and for protection for your people. For all who live in difficult circumstances because of their faith. With their profession and their resilience would lead others to profess and follow the same faith and to find their trust and their life in you Lord in your mercy hear, hear our prayer. prayer risen Christ your wounds declare your love for the world and the wonder of your risen life give us compassion and courage to risk ourselves for those we serve to the glory of God the Father Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done, done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins, as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Thank you for being with us this morning. Have a great day. It's beginning to look a little overcast, so Wendy will be happier later. <laughs> Have a great day. Be safe. Be blessed. And if there's anything, oh, we can <gasps> do. Give us a shout. It's good when you slap yourself, isn't it? Bye, I guys. I don't want the clouds. I just mentioned that they were there. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.